And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Aphelios. This is going to be a moon weapon deck, a moon weapon with Kyrian Sump Workers. That's what we're going to be trying here. So we have, um, this is going to be our only two drop, Kyrian Sump Worker. And of course we're going to have that with Iterative Improvement where uh, we try to get two of them to play because we can get that Sump Works Posse, which is a really awesome threat. Um, but then we're also going to be using the moon weapons to help find them because moon weapon uh, Crescendum allows us to just summon a two drop follower from our deck and of course that's going to be the Kyrian Sump Worker. So that's a way for us to find them so we'll be using Gifts from Beyond and Aphelios to be able to go grab them. But of course we only have three Kyrian Sump Workers in our deck. That's not very many. So we have two copies of counterfeit copies to help put some more um, into our deck. Uh, and so we really only need just like one counterfeit copies and get another four in there but that's going to be kind of important to be able to do that. But besides that, just, you know, a bunch of other like different um, invoke cards and late game Targon stuff using PNZ for some interaction with Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam. And that's kind of about it. Both of our champions are going to be creating a lot of cards. So we should have a lot of card advantage and um, be able to do well in a late game. Really, really low to the ground curve. So that's going to be pretty nice. Half of the deck costs zero, one, or two mana, <laughs> basically. More than half the deck. I mean, I guess three-fourths of the deck costs zero, one, or two mana. So, should be pretty sweet. Let's give it a try. Zoe Aphelios. Okay, playing against Azir. Noxus Azir. So they're going to be super fast aggro, which is going to be good for our low curve. We should be able to have enough... You know, like I, I honestly kind of like this hand. Iterative Improvement's the only one that I'm thinking about mulliganing. But it can actually be pretty good too. I'll go ahead and send it back. But like getting like a house spider with that could be really nice. A card that I'm... One card that I am very scared of. Okay, we've got another one back. One card I am very scared of in this matchup is going to be the 6-4 Overwhelm Spell Shield Ruin Runner. And so like this can like make a copy of Ruin Runner and, and uh, play it. That could be helpful. Sumperker. Or we can also just have... Um, you know, Sumperker improvement Sumperker. That's not bad either. Yeah, I think Veil Temple is, gonna, is just much too slow for the metagame. It just doesn't isn't as impactful. With with Veil Temple not increasing the health, it's just not necessary. It doesn't really, it doesn't offer enough. Just going with the cost reduction. Because we do need cheaper cards. Zero mana card sounds good. Hey, Mazif. Remember the um, one of the the, the Aphelios can get life steal. I guess I gotta block you. What do I want to? I guess no. Okay. I feel like I have to play that card, but maybe I didn't. Lifesteal could be a pretty sweet moon weapon to have. I'm not going to have all the mana I want. Ooh, wait a minute. Now we will. Are they going to have Noxion Fervor, though? I guess we shall see. That kind of feels like maybe a Noxion Fervor. I'm still worried about the Spell Shield unit. I can play this, go get Lifesteal, then play Lifesteal, but... I guess I'm going to do this. Thank you. 
All right, keep them from uh, developing their board after I attack. Right, they like they want me to attack, kills those two things, but then they have you know five plus two mana. They have seven mana, and then they just go develop their board and put a whole bunch of stuff out there afterwards. So I'm gonna keep them from doing that. That was the card I didn't want to see. The only card I didn't want to see. I guess I'm only taking. I guess it's not too bad. So I take four. I go down to five. I guess it's just this. I was definitely really considering um, going with the iterative improvement on the house spider and getting you know like the two blockers at the house spider. They can just they can check those two. to stop falling my chair hardly. Whoa. Oh, I guess. Yeah, never mind. That decimate kills me now. I don't have the time to heal my nexus. So is there any way for me to stop decimate star shaping is? So yeah, it's, it's all star shaping, I guess. Yep. Those are not it. It's a tough game to navigate. I don't know if I, you know, like, obviously I could have done some, you know, different things. So, hindsight, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm definitely glad I didn't attack that turn, because then they would have played. Like, we slowed them down an entire turn by not attacking. So I attack, they play that Ruin Runner. So I gave myself a chance. N additional turn. Don't think we really need any of these cards. In our opener. That's a card I need. Which, by the way, I shouldn't play Zoe first. Yeah, I should not have played Zoe first, because of single combat. No, I'm just gonna attack. Cool. Protégé is a great card against Zoe. And, you know, great card against Kyrian Sumporker and everything, too. Protégé is a great card. I was kind of seeing if they would play Tarek right there. So I wanted to give them that opportunity to do that. And then do four to the Tarek. And one to a tracker. Break their spirits and their swords. Well, that's not good. Dang. Why is the punch deck so good? Just all challengers. I'm trying to play like small units over here, and they got all big challengers. The worst case scenario.
Alright, they didn't take any kind of bait. Oh, the Pell Cascade's not gonna be Nightfall. Demacia's got good t good tools against us. Challengers, Sharp Sight, Single Combat. All very good tools against us. So the problem with waiting on... Mystic shot is they do get to heal Protege. But especially how my opponent's playing Protege, which you know you don't see that often, but just the Yeah, this is this is bad. Yeah, <laughs> just having Pro Protege and Screeching Dragon and Combat Tricks. This is not good. Combat tricks, including Sharp Sight, to block my elusive Zoe, Sump Worker, that kind of stuff. Not ideal. Okay, so let's see. So I can give you... Give you Lifesteal. Do I want to do that? No. Not really. I'm just gonna... Do this. Oh, come on. Find something to get rid of the spell shield effectively. Okay. one is over. Okay. I don't think we can play against a deck that's built worse for... Like, this is... You know, and they got the Targon cards and the Star Shapings and everything. I don't think we can play against the worst matchup. That deck completely destroys us. Just every card they have. Every card... Carrying some workers is going to be pretty important. Um, I think we'll win or lose. See what we see, soldiers. <laughs> Don't think I can just take the damage all the time. So good news, they're down to three cards. That's the good news. We were peaceful once. Ah, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't just have a vile feast for Zoe, but that's not how the world works. The world works with them having the best thing they can have. <laughs> That's too bad.
So I wanted to Mystic Shot the Reaper, but of course I don't want to allow them to draw a champion, so it looks like we'll allow them to draw two though. Alright, so we both have three cards in hand. But they also have that 3 2 Fearsome in play. Nope. Alright, so wait. One, two. I can't even play a Felios and a Moon Weapon this round. Okay, so that's important, killing that thing. Getting that out of here. I just pass. If I don't pass, I can make another moon weapon right now. I use some mana, but then they get to use a bunch of mana and everything too. Night flowers upon my Make exact copies of this Kyrian Sump Workers. We'll put two, three Sump Workers into our deck. That's unfortunate. How much mana we got? Eight. Nine mana to get two Sumpworks Posses and Severum. And we have eight mana. So that makes sense. So I didn't play this Lunari Duskbringer before. Us. That's what it looks like. Oh, wow. Right of Calling over there. Drawing another champion. That was unexpected. I have Hush, but I don't have like the mana to rummage and find Hush and play it. GG's. Okay, so we're playing against the Zillion deck. They could be, they're PNZ, they could be doing the same kind of thing with Sumpworker. I'm not exactly sure what they got going on over there. So I can protect from Mystic Shot with the Pale Cascade. So their plan is Mystic Shot. So 
That worked. At least so far it's worked. Wouldn't really help against the time bomb now, but that's a good card. I do only have one um, some worker left in my deck, as far as gifts from beyond is concerned. Really hoping they don't have any more removal. And we just have three sump workers attacking. Deal three to all their stuff. I'm going for it. It's not the safest play. Safer play would have been to, like, to attack with two and have Mystic Shot. Well, I like seeing that. Well, that's good. Yeah, like, that was good. That just this thing just dies. There wasn't really any reason to play it. Okay, well that worked out. So now they're down to three. I do have the time bomb. Yeah, I don't think our I don't think our deck has necessarily been bad. I think that cards have really lined up for our opponents in like all these games you're right like if we needed like a star shaping we don't have it we need a hush we don't have it you like the cards that we need we haven't had and the cards my opponents have need that they have had what do you make that? um, sure. that's what it's really felt like in, in these games but I don't I don't necessarily think this like the zillion the twisted zillion deck didn't really feel competitive this deck has felt more unlucky than not competitive if that makes sense Guide you, my brethren. Strength and conviction. Good chance I should just take the um the go grab one of our champions, give it plus two, plus two. That's a strong card. Bleh, another time bomb. Yeah, I mean you can always play. <laughs> yeah, you could always play. Um Pursuit to perfection in this kind of deck. You didn't need to switch some stuff up, but um, it's there's a lot of creative cards between Zoe and um, Ophelios for sure. I probably just need to have more. To, that's kind of like the thing about some. Like that's probably why I've been like I was saying. Like, I've kind of been disappointed with the Sunworks Posse. I know this game it just won the game for us, but zoe Aphelios create a whole bunch of cards and moon weapons that's a really defensive strategy especially with targon and everything and and some Forks posse is just the opposite and so it kind of feels like it doesn't necessarily fit in here it's a little off okay so we played against this champion combination and region combination earlier and my opponent's deck looked really really good they had a very good hand and it looked very good. Like, is it better if we just mulligan these things? Because they're just going to get merciless huntered. You have to have, like, your two sump workers to make one card, right? Like, it, it's card disadvantage, and then if they can kill your, your sump worker after that, it's kind of bad. I'll send him back. I really want round one Zoe. Or not. Oh, right. Prediction. Sorry. Okay. So one minute prediction started now. So I'm getting the Meteor Shower, the deal 4, deal 1, because of all these spell shields. 
Like Sivir with the spell shield and Ruin Runner with the spell yeah, shield and works. Dragon with the spell shield. These spell shields are really annoying. I guess I can just go like this though. That's probably worth it. Sivir is a great champion. Yep. Talking about spell shield. So one mana destroy a spell shield. I mean technically three mana. Three mana destroy a spell shield. No, I kind of changed my mind what I was doing there. Definitely really worried about siphoning strike right here. Yeah. I should have just blocked the siphoning strike. Reading a really insult. Yeah, that deck looks great. That deck looks great. It has like all the cards I love playing. Like you know, like it has, um, you know, at least just from what we've seen so far in the two games. Just I mean, I I will give me as y'all know, probably my favorite card in the game is Siphoning Strike. Give me any excuse to play Siphoning Strike. Um, but, you know, just a bunch of spell shield units and Siphoning Strike and and uh, Blossoming Blade. All right, so um, yeah, there's just something missing here. There's a lot of like good individual cards, but we're just like our deck's too small. I think like that's really like the what it comes down to is that our units are just all too small, just kind of throughout it, right? Like it's we like as we saw there, like our opponent plays like some five fives or five fours. I'm done, right? Like there's there's nothing in here that can even do four damage besides I guess the sump workers, but you don't want those being in combat. And so like I think that's kind of our problems. We just can't can't like block enough like that. So maybe. Like, maybe not, like, Dustbringer or Sketcher. Like, you know, maybe we just actually have to have, like, larger units and um, kind of go, like, at least for, for blockers. Like, because even, like, the Fangs being a 3-2, Priestess, like, with the 1-2, you know, it, it's not doing anything. Like, sure, we can invoke some stuff, but it's, it, that's not easy to do. But maybe we need our own, like, Solari Sunforgers in here, just being bigger um, and being able to, to do that. You know, like, our own, you know, like, Fused Firebrand, Great Blocker, Moon Dreamer can invoke while still being a larger body. I kind of feel like that's what we were missing is that just we, you know, like we just didn't have any kind of size for staying alive in combat for making a longer game. You know, like our opponents play like Merciless Hunters and, and um, you know, things like that. And we're just kind of done. So that's what it kind of felt like. So it felt like we needed need some, some real block, like some cards that can block and just didn't have them. All right, so that's Zoe Aphelios. Um, you know, trying trying stuff there. Um, I think that's kind of the, the lesson we learned there is you can't just have all really small units. 
Um, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Um, let me know, like, what, what would you change about the deck? Um, what do you think of that takeaway of like maybe getting some larger stuff with like Sunforger or Moon Dreamer or things like that? Um, yeah, I'd love, love to see those comments over there. But that's going to be it here for this Kyrian Sumpwork deck. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.